In this screencast, we are looking at the persuasive letter example. All of the items highlighted in red are important things that I'm going to address today as I read through this. Dear Representative Dermody, So, my first comment here is that you need to address your letter to your PA, House Representative, or your Senator. Your choice. You completed that during our 6.7 discussion board. My name is Katie Devlin, and I live in your district. I would like to tell you about an issue that I think needs to be addressed in our state. Currently in Pennsylvania, schools can only punish students for bullying that happens at school, happens at a school function, is done using school property like a computer, or disrupts the school day. There should be a law that allows schools to punish students for cyberbullying which occurs outside of school because kids believe it is the easiest way to bully without punishment. Now here. Um, next to that NA2, this is my opinion statement. So I believe there should be a law that allows schools to punish kids for cyberbullying that occurs outside of school because kids believe it's the easiest way. In my social studies class, we learned that many case, in many cases, bullying occurs, but it is difficult for schools to punish kids who bully online. I think that cyberbullying is one of the most serious and difficult types of bullying to punish today. Right there, that is my reason. That is why I think we need this law. And you will be doing the same thing when you write your letter. I saw on the website dosomething.org that 81% of teenagers think that it is easier to get away with cyberbullying than bullying in person. We learned in class about cases that involve students using their time after school to write not so nice things about staff and teachers at their school. So here, this is where your research comes into play. I've provided websites for you to use. You can use any material that we've used in our unit. Show us some statistics. Show us some information. One case, Beadler versus North Thurston School District number three. The student said some mean things about his assistant principal on a website he made. The school suspended the student and he was eventually sent to an alternative school. In this case, the court in Washington State decided that the school did not have enough evidence showing that the website was disrupting learning. We also watched a clip from the television show, What Would You Do? In the clip, there were girls in a coffee shop posting mean comments on Facebook to a girl in the class at school. They said a lot of hurtful things, but if this happened in PA, the girls couldn't be punished for the hurtful things they said to this classmate because it didn't meet the criteria of our law. So this is my evidence. As you can see, I use things that we did in our lessons. So this is information that we already know. We're just writing it down and presenting it in a letter. Now, I know there are kids and adults out there saying that government or their school cannot take away the freedom of speech. This is my counter argument. In the case of Beadler versus North Thurston School District number three, the student in this case stated that his suspension and placement at the alternative school was unconstitutional under the First Amendment and he won. There have been other cases where students have used the First Amendment to defend their rights to express themselves freely using the internet. I believe that to protect myself and other students in Pennsylvania against cyberbullying, lawmakers and PA should make a law that allows schools to punish students for cyberbullying regardless if it takes place on school property or with school property. I read in the state cyberbullying laws report published in December 2013. This is another outside source, so more stats, more things to make my argument be great that the state of Arkansas has such a hard time and has such a law and cyberbullying there is punishable by law. Kids who are bullied need help. They need protection and adults have the power to help. Can you help kids in PA and propose a law that punishes cyberbullying? So this last sentence here is my call to action. It's asking Representative Dermody to help us out and pass this law. And then you sign it with your name, seventh grade student, PA Distance Learning Charter. As always, please let me know if you have any questions or need any help, and I'll be glad to get you there.